Sonic 1029. Well, first off, congrats <laughs> on the success of Monsters. That is huge. We Thank love you. that one down here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. When you wrote it, did you think it would, did you have a feeling about it? Did you think it would resonate with that many people? You know, I think we we all had a feeling that it was a really special song. Um, that's how it starts. You know, we really didn't know how it was going to go on to do what it did. It's accomplished so much uh, for us as a song, more than we could have ever imagined. Um, but we, we did know when we wrote it that it was, there was something about it that kind of set it apart on the record. And we just said, this feels like a very special one. And it's cool when you have that feeling in the creative space and then it manifests into everything that it's kind of turned into. It was really a good moment. That's gotta be a cool, like tingly feeling knowing that you've got something good before you share it with everyone else. Absolutely, it's so exciting. So you released that one right before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We're in a pandemic. What have you been doing? Have you gotten any new surprising hobbies or what? We, you know, it's been interesting because we put the we put the album out uh, at really the peak of the pandemic and the shutdown in the states, and it was really kind of a a trial in figuring out new ways to connect with our audience. You know, it was a very odd experience to kind of put the album out. We knew we wanted to put the record out. We knew that it was, you know, the nature of this thing was going to be kind of indefinite. And we knew that if we delayed the release of the record, like there was really no telling when would be a better time kind of thing. Um, and so from there, it, it became about, okay, how do we get this music in front of as many people as we can without being able to go on tour and play shows? And so it really just boiled down to us <clears throat> doing our best to connect with people virtually, remotely, put on, you know, virtual concerts and just do all the things that we could possibly do to, to still keep our fans and our audience entertained. Um, and then at the same time, you know, we had the success with Monsters that, that really helped kind of uh, breathe new life into this band and how people kind of look at this band. And I think those two things sort of coinciding made for a really despite it being a very challenging year, it made for some real bright spots for us. Cool, uh, speaking of live concerts, other than the, the audience not being there, what's the biggest difference performing those as opposed to like a live show? You know, I think it's just, it's always a little scary looking into a camera instead of at human faces. I think the biggest takeaway for us was that we were doing these meet and greets around the shows and we actually had a bunch of people say like, this is great because I, I don't attend shows even when there are shows. You know, there were people that kind of came forward and said things like, you know, I have really bad social anxiety or I have a disability that doesn't allow me to go to shows. And so this kind of performance means a lot. And that was a big takeaway for us because it kind of, it resonated further than just the pandemic. It was kind of like, we need to put these on all the time. You know, every year there are, we have to factor in the people who can't come and see us live. And, it was really special to kind of hear that from people and, and be able to connect with them in that way. Yeah, for sure. So I know you're back in the studio. Congrats on Once in a Lifetime. It is a <laughs> very bright song. Uh, is there more music on the way? What's the deal? We have a lot of music written. I don't know what we're going to do with it quite yet, um, whether it's going to become an album or an EP or a deluxe version of the last record or just a bunch of songs that we sprinkle throughout the year. We really haven't decided yet um, because everything just feels so kind of fluid right now. Um, but yeah, there's there's more music to come, which is exciting. Cool, that's very exciting, yeah. Um, so if like in this time, I know a lot of people are collaborating with one another and uh, like you said, like it's a lot more accessible now. Um, not just mm -hmm. the live concerts, but just the bands, like even us chatting here today, like I don't know if a year ago we would have been doing a video chat. So um, right. in this world, uh, who would you like to collaborate with? Who is Ooh. on your radar? That's a really good question. Um, there are so many people. Halsey, I would love to work mm -hmm. with. She's incredible. Um, 21 Pilots uh, would be a good one. Um, who else? Haley Williams, I would love to work with. I think uh, Abel from The Weeknd, or AKA The Weeknd, would be incredible. He's so talented. Yeah. I would be into any of those. <laughs> well, I'm ready for you to come back to Edmonton to play a show. You haven't been here since 2015. So hopefully with vaccines and all of that. No, no, don't feel guilty. That's just the way it goes. But we're excited for you to come back. I cannot wait. I want to be All back. right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the chat and congrats on everything. And I'm thank excited you. for what you do next. Right on. Can't wait to see you. Have a good one. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Are you Sonic? Sonic 1029.